So recently I've gotten back into the habit of listening to a lot of J. Cole, Forest Hills Drives, KOD, Be Your Eyes Only, stuff like that. And I don't make this style too often, so I thought I might as well practice. So in today's one, I'm going to be making a beat in the style of J. Cole. I'd say the first step is establishing some sort of drum bounce, so I'm gonna set it to like 90 BPM, and I'm gonna look for a reference drum loop. So I won't use this in the final beat, but I do want an idea of what I want my drum loop to sound like, so. I like the hi-hats and kicks on that one, so I'm gonna try and emulate that. I'm not gonna lie, right now it sounds pretty robotic. Hopefully as the beat develops, I can humanize it a bit more. And to do that, I'm gonna add a couple of hi-hat loops. I'm just gonna open up Splice and see what I can find. Yeah, I think those sound pretty good. I think to finish this loop off, I'm just gonna add a kick. All right, now that I've got the main drum loop done, since this is gonna be a sample type beat, I am gonna to have to look for a sample. I'm going to use the same tool that I did in my previous video, if you've seen it. I'm going straight to radio.com. Normally for these kind of beats, 1980s Spanish samples work pretty well. I'm gonna switch it up a bit and go for like 1970s, 1980s Japanese samples, because that's also one of my go-tos. No. Maybe this one. I think I found one. I've only really listened to like 12 seconds of it. If I start getting picky with the sample, it'll just overcomplicate the beat. So I'm gonna drag that into FL Studio. For the hooks and verses, I'm gonna need some vocals in this sample. So I'm just gonna keep looking around. Okay. All right, it seems to me that there's two choruses in the sample. I think I'm gonna use the first chorus for hook one and the second chorus for hook two, because it just makes sense. So now that I've got a rough 16 bar loop, I'm gonna record it into Edison and then start chopping it up. It's like more or less in time. I think it's fine. I think that'll do. I'm going to pitch it up slightly so I get like that weird chipmunk vibe that I'm going for. Then I'm gonna route it to a mixer track and add some effects. Sounds much better. I like it. But for the first hook, I kind of want it to be quieter and more chill. So what I'm going to do is stem split that sample so that I'm left with only the vocals and the backing accompaniment. Problem is I can't really make sample chops out of that. So I'm going to open up Edison again and just record those two parts into Edison. Now I'm finally happy to open Fruity Slicer. Obviously I'm gonna increase the pitch by 500 cents. I'm gonna up the attack a little bit, chop it into beats. I'm gonna see what vocal chops I can come up with. I think that melody might be pretty good for a hook, but I still need something for the first verse, so. All right, that makes a pretty good verse melody, but the notes are so out of time, so I'm gonna edit them real quick. I think without a baseline now, it's getting pretty repetitive. So I think the next step is to add a baseline for sure. So real quick, I'm gonna open Trillion. I'm gonna go to my favorite staccato bass guitar.
think I'm going to do the same thing for the first and second verses. So... First verse should lead into the second hook. The only thing I'm really going to change about the second hook, I'm going to use the same chops as the first hook, but I'm just going to use the second chorus of the track if that makes sense. And I think I can leave the bass line the same. Both hooks are using the same root note, so it should be fine. And that'll lead into the second verse, I think. And I think I'm just going to pencil this melody in. Now this verse needs a bass line as well. I believe it follows the same roots as the first verse, but just in case, I'm just gonna pencil it in. All right, I think that's all of the beat components done. All I have left to do is mix the drums and arrange the beat. So the beat's basically done. Pretty simple beat arrangement. The drums are basically going throughout the whole thing. Let's just see what it sounds like. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I don't make these beats too often, so this was just a good practice run for me, I think. For me specifically, I feel like it's useful to know how to make a bunch of stuff, so I feel like the sample melody is a bit too repetitive. It often happens if the sample you choose doesn't have enough interesting parts to loop or chop. Once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's just listen to the beat and see what I do better for next time.